news here we have actual good news from um the festival circuit we have news courtesy of junction regarding their new party they're going to be putting on junction two festival is happening finally um in 2022 many delays in between they're basically the first one i think in three years i went to the last one before it could before the pandemic so that's actually a good thing to remember like in your head right to kind of have that memory of like oh it was really amazing the last time i went and that's the one memory you have to hold on to which is awesome going forward um obviously they've got a lot to kind of you know um aim for in terms of the how good that first one was because you know that good that first one was just too good but i think considering the the pause and considering how many people have been fiending for this festival to come back i think they'll do a good job and again crank brothers are um easily one of our better promoters when it comes to putting on these sort of things right? i think it's crank brothers that put do this so i'm pretty sure it's crank brothers and lwe right or am i mistaken crank brothers, LWE. okay cool it doesn't matter Anyway, for Conjunction 2 Festival, it says here Jubilee Bank Holiday Weekend, Friday the 3rd and Saturday the 4th of June 2022. Full lineup has been announced. The Friday lineup is great and the Saturday lineup is even better. I want to say for everybody that complains about gendered lineups, that complains about people not getting highlighted who are maybe underground or maybe not as well known or kind of in that sort of like middle to lower middle tier of DJs who not that, you know, again, maybe can't sell out a, a fold on your own back and hold down a cause or hold down a fold and maybe with a fill a lineup sort of thing. Let's give Junction 2 props for at least providing a real contrast in terms of people who are playing on the Friday and the Saturday. I'd say the Saturday is definitely more business techno and the Friday is definitely more for the heads. So let's give them props because a lot of these festivals don't do these sort of things or don't make their lineups diverse, don't make them, you know, don't, don't have, you know, forget diversity, variety more so. But I think all these people deserve to be in this lineup and they're going to all smash it. And I think it's a it's a testament against Junction 2 for being a little bit forward thinking in how they approach festivals you know the location the sound the organization everything how it's produced it's just all really really high level so it's no surprise that they would go this direction with the festival and i'm hoping the same people that complain about lineups same people that complain about representation are going to buy tickets to this thing and sell it out on a friday as the saturday is probably going to be sold out we know that already because of the names listed but i hope the friday sells out at the same level because you can't beg for these things and then when they come on sale you don't go or you don't buy tickets do you know what i mean that's not going to be a great way to kind of um let these promoters know that what you're pushing for is what people actually want because of course we know the honest truth of the conversation is that the people that some people push for in terms of variety and you know moving things forwards aren't necessarily the people that sell tickets so the promoters are in a tough position because effectively to throw a party and to make it worthwhile you need to sell tickets you need to be able to recruit something i was a promoter and for the most part when i did it i just wanted to make sure i broke even i just wanted to make sure whatever i spent i got back that's it i don't care about whatever profit happens on top that's just a bonus but just make sure that i put on the party and i'm not going into the red more often than not though you do go into the red so it'll be great if now especially considering it's been three years or two years whatever it's been people can go out buy tickets for the friday as well as the saturday because again like i said the saturday is definitely going to sell out and let them know that hey we want these sort of lineups this is what we want going forward but anyway moving on the lineup itself on friday is as follows uh friday you on the third of june you have ans who i've profiled on this podcast before somebody who i saw play at that boiler room thing for the first time alongside the blessed madonna and somebody else so it should be great to see her play live i'm really looking forward to that aurora halal avalon emerson's always good but nobo carlotta seri chaos in the cbd crombie that'd be great berlin based but i think he's from uk somewhere in ireland or something so that'd be great to see him dmx crew live eclair fifi of course scottish she'll be good to see somebody play like that here fes uh, Fatima Yamaha live Forte again a little bit of a tired booking in terms of London festivals but in terms of him bringing it to that kind of stage he's going to be great Hessel Audio Trio you already know that vibe's going to be sick John Hopkins you already know that's going to be good um, Jordan Nocturne Jossie Mitsu Leon Va Leon Vinehall again you already know that's going to be sick Midland you don't need to talk about that all going to be sick Nina Kravitz booking on Friday is a bit weird but again for the Friday you need maybe one marquee kind of booking just to bring people in not really interested in seeing her in that place Octa Octa back to back to Erish Drew that's going to be an absolute 
certainty in terms of seeing if you've not seen those two play back to back house sets like just incredible high octane high energy is going to be blessed peach has seen a couple of her streams she should be good to see live um rival consoles runs uh terezy back to back with d tiffany if i'm not too sure if that's i tell a person from whore if i'm not too sure so rosie again i, I think it's irish right so I was like since she's like a ginger woman i saw her play in a horror as well again mistake don't please forgive me if i'm not right ski mask again but back with zenka brothers i'll be sick good good techno tasha tasca willow yusu and zuzu of course so banging lineup got a few on my list i'm gonna go see saturday you know already know what the vibe is 999 um adam Bayer, adele emily lens you know get the fuck out of here and i start christensen top girl definitely will check that out anna avalon emerson ben clock berghain um the resident there benjamin damage bean blau i'll be sick bram and ham dax j dina um dina abdul abdul Awid, Abda Abdel Wahid. That's how you say it, right? Abdel Wahid. Um Dent and Pika. Dixon, of course. You already know the vibes in it. Dixon fanboy crew here. Number one uh, fanboy in the world. So definitely gonna see him. DJ Boring live. Oh, DJ Boring's doing a live set. Interesting. The Do Do Dr. Rubenstein amazing booking e dancer francella francesco delgada franco harper fumi atanica joe mule kara sucro cobalsi interesting booking masio plex market day it's a really interesting mix on even on saturday but again it's still kind of similar in it like you know a bit more business techno mind against omar richie horton robert hood live robert oldale roy perez sam banogo um samuel deep seth Choksa, sugar tree tia nasa and truma i would love to have seen um roy perez and dr riverstein play back to back a little bit but i'm sure maybe because they're in london it depends on it because bookings when you book those big djs sometimes they don't let you play in the same city on the same weekend didn't it so i don't know it'd be good to see them play somewhere back to back uh, but yeah whatever joseph two festival returns to london for the first time since 2019 madness in it jubilee bank holiday weekend friday the third 12 to 10 p.m and again like i said easily one of the best london festivals out i think just in terms of how it's produced in terms of the volume again the volume if you've been to london festivals you know they're so hit and miss when it comes to sound because of the flipping noise pollution laws and whatnot in local residents and some of the parks are usually in densely populated residential areas so you know counter people kick up a fuss at residents residents keep up a fuss which is again understandable but it doesn't make for good parties but because junction's legitimately under a motorway um there's nothing near it they can just absolutely blast the music even the, the bit under the motorway that i don't know what that stage is called that's probably got some of the best sounds like, because of the concrete you know and the acoustics that way but it's fucking sick man legitimately sick i really recommend you going if you're a fan of festivals in general if you're not then i don't know what to tell you Joseph 2 finally returns to London. It says here for the first time since 2019 on one of the most anticipated events of 2022. Definitely agree. Taking place across Jubilee Bank Holiday Weekend on Friday the 3rd and Saturday the 4th of June. Many industry sought after figures. Rising stars will perform across numerous bespoke stages at an event that has always put community at the core. Junction 2 has embraced innovation, new technologies and creative thinking to explore the relationship between Sonic Experience, surrounding environment that way we engage with culture. So we proudly present for the 22, for the 2022 22 edition the focus of rebirth at junction 2 finally delivers this festival in three years its first in three years despite being unable to host a festival in a traditional format for the past two summers we have used the time to expand the project into new directions 2022 saw the spirit of boston manor brought to life with j2v uk's first large-scale underground virtual festival and in january 2021 we pushed the digital technology to its edges with junction 2 connections uh, bringing together three iconic music cities detroit berlin london under the virtual roof and a forgettable 48 hour in a city takeover tobacco dock and fabric ensued on bank holiday weekend yeah they've done a lot to be fair they've done a lot in terms of pushing things forward friday but yeah looking forward to it man cannot wait it's going to be absolute barnstorming event like, look at that view from the dj imagine how sick that must be to play somewhere and see that when you're playing out god damn um absolute bad man but yeah big up junction can't wait to go junction two happening very very soon very 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 soon